The government of St. Lucia on Monday, 16th October 2024, presented the insolvency bill for debate in the House of Assembly. The bill, which was introduced by Attorney General Leslie Mondesi, was taken through all its stages at this sitting. Insolvency occurs when an individual or company can no longer meet their debt obligations. For a business, this means that its liabilities exceed the value of its assets and income. The Attorney General expounded on the merits of the bill. Now this bill consists of many advantages to consumers and offers a level of protection for them. These advantages include, one, permits a borrower to negotiate a partial or total wipe-off of his debts, two, establishes a low-cost out-of-court restructuring process whereby borrowers can work with their creditors to negotiate a, mutu a mutually beneficial solution, three, gives borrowers the power to stop creditors from pursuing them, four, permits borrowers to stop the sale of consumers' assets while they resolve their debt payments, it allows for protection of the primary residence of a debtor, where a certain amount of a debtor's equity in the primary residence is exempt from creditors. Former Prime Minister and member for Viewfort South, Honorable Kennedy Anthony, stressed the importance of explaining to the general public the implications and transformation this legislation seeks to create. This bill will require massive public education to explain the purpose of the bill, the provisions of the bill, and the implications of the bill. Minister for Agriculture and member for Denry South, Honorable Alfred Prosper, highlighted the importance of the insolvency legislation for fishers and farmers. Bill Salanuka Paseodia, ce n'est pas un bill qui cai point possession of caillou, sous pas sa paye banque là pour yon de moi. So c'est pêcher, c'est fama qui peut être ni mortgage et qui yon kon dans situation, côté la nan wikin. La même manière que tu as fait ça, 20 produits, tu as fait ça, tu as fait pour le grand agricole. They will be able to sit, engage the bank, and have a discussion. Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, emphasized that this legislation will modernize not only the credit sector in St. Lucia, but also the relationship between creditors and debtors. This legislation, Mr. Speaker, will modernize the entire environment so that when someone a business or, or an individual is under pressure, Mr. Speaker, he will be able to go and speak to his creditor and say that I am under pressure. Let us talk to each other. Drafting of the insolvency legislation began in 2014 and has undergone many iterations and stakeholder engagements. So this legislation, Mr. Speaker, is necessary. It's very necessary because it will determine our relationship with the financial institutions internally and globally. World Bank, CDB, IMF, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister also praised the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, NCPC, for spearheading the drafting of the insolvency legislation. More than me to congratulate and to thank the people in the NCPC for the work that they have done as far as this legislation is concerned, Mr. Speaker. The NCPC will also lead a public education campaign to inform the public about the provisions and benefits of the insolvency legislation. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.